Hi everyone, this is Christopher from Fandav. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a 3D stereoscopic DCP in Premiere Pro. I've imported some footage here. I have uh, two QuickTime movies at 24 FPS and their frame size is uh, 2048 by 1080. And uh, the other two QuickTime movies that I've imported is uh, high frame rate movies at 48 FPS uh, and their size is 2048 by 1080. So with these files imported I'm going to create two DCPs, two stereoscopic DCPs. So I'm going to start to create a new sequence. So I just pick one of the available presets, I pick an array and we are going to change some of the settings. The time base is OK, it's 24 and the frame size, uh, we need to change this one. We need to double the width because we are laying out the left and right channel side by side. So the size width was 2048, so I need to double that one to 4096. 4096 pixels wide. And the next thing is the tracks, the audio tracks. I need to make a 5.1 surround mix, so I need to delete all my audio channels and make a multi-channel with six mono tracks. I'm changing the names of the tracks. And we also need to um, assign each individual track to a, a specific output. So, so I'm going to assign the first and, and the second track to one and two. It's one and two. Uh, track three and four to output three and four. And track five and six to. Uh, output 5 and 6. I also need to uh, pan each track to uh, its specific output. Everything is set up, so I'm, I'm going to save this preset to use later on. So I'm going to call this one DCI 2K uh, full 3D, 20, 48, 1080. Yep, and it's reloading all presets. Here we go, that's our preset. I'm going to put my movie files on the, on the timeline. And we're going to keep existing uh, settings because I don't want to change the size of my uh, sequence. This was the left channel, so I will position it to the left side. So I go to the motion position and zero, it and anchor point is zero. And then we're going to add the right channel and do the same thing, select the track, go to motion and like so. Right channel and left channel. This is fine. Then we're going to add our audio to the sequence. This is the left channel and the right channel. The center the sub, left surround, and right surround. Uh, just trim the output like that. Cool. I will just check that the audio is assigned to its specific output. So let's go to the to the track mixer, audio track mixer, and I'm going to solo my first track and just 
checking that it's playing. Yes, it's playing fine. And a second one is going to track two. And the third it's fine. And the fourth track five. Yeah, looks good. And track six. Yeah, perfect. Everything is fine. I got all the tracks in place. Uh, now it's time to export a sequence. Export media and select Cute DCP. The compression is set to full, 125 megabit per second is the highest uh, bitrate for stereoscopic 3D. The color conversion is checked. Uh, I need to set a title. I'm using the title helper for that and logo 3D. The content type is a trailer. Uh, projector aspect ratio is a full. Uh, language audio subtitle audio type is a 5.1 surround mic resolution. Uh, facility package type is a written version. 3D specs, 3D interop. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, make a copy of the content title. I will use that as my output name. Uh, Notation text, interrupt, everything is fine. Uh, on the audio side, I need to set it to a 5.1 surround mix. And the channel order is in this order that we laid out the file in our sequence left, right, center, LFE, left surround, right surround. Yeah, everything is set up correctly, and we're just pressing export. The next thing they are going to do is to create a 3D, stereoscopic 3D at 48 frames per second and HFR, high frame rate DCP. Alright, we are going to start to create a new sequence and we are going to use our preset that we previously made. Uh, the settings the time base is 24, this has to be 48, and we can't set it to 48. So uh, I will show you a neat little trick, uh, and the only way I've found how to uh, adjust the, f the frame rate in a sequence. And all the tracks are fine. And I'm going to call this one uh, Cube 3D 48 FPS. OK, uh, as we saw, the sequence setting is 24, time base is 24, we need to, that to be 48. So we need to jump over to After Effects to create a couple of frames just to uh, set the settings of, of our Premiere Pro sequence. So I'm going to create a composition at uh, 4096, 1080, and the frame rate is 48. The duration could be whatever, I just set 10 frames is fine for us. Uh, we can just leave it black, we don't need any pictures at all, just leave it as is. And add it to render queue. Uh, and I'm going to select QuickTime and uh, ProRes 444. like that and going to call this one QuickTime template replace and render and then jump back to Premiere and this is our imported template uh, I will drop this one into our sequence and we need to change sequence settings and delete it. We're going to check the sequence settings and this the time base is 48 
and and then we're going to insert our left channel into the sequence and we are going to keep this time the settings uh, and then adjust this left move it to the left side and the right track 2 select and just adjust it and then we've got all the audio files as well left oops right center LFE LS and RS like that need to trim the outputs okay this is it uh, we are ready to go and I export QTSP selected uh, just give it a proper name call this one cube 3D content type is a trailer uh, projector aspect ratio is a full mm, resolution is a 2K audio type is 5.1 and original version it's fine I'm happy with that uh, I'm making a copy of this one and I will use this as my output name okay uh, it's a trailer and the video the, its maximum bitrate 125 uh, the, the color space conversion is checked and the channel is a 5.1 mix yep it's ready to go just press export and be happy